Generally, it is believed that winning a lottery is a chance to change one's life. The lucky people who win think it is an answer to their prayers and will be the solution to all of their problems. But even after being blessed enough to get their hands on such great fortunes, some lottery winners lose it all very quickly. There is even a particular term for this phenomenon, lottery curse. It may be hard to believe that even after winning such vast amounts of money, people end up losing it all. But it happens more often than you think. Enlisted here are 11 such cases of people who had to taste the lottery curse. Through their lavish spending, they turned their win sour. Let's get right into it. Number 11. Gerald Muswagon Canadian Gerald Muswagon bought a $2 lotto ticket that made him an instant millionaire in 2011. He won a $10 million jackpot but blew it in just a few short years. He bought a house that doubled as a nightly party spot hosting his ever-growing legion of hangers-on. He also blew the cash on cars, partying, and gifts while racking up a string of legal entanglements. By the end, he was doing manual labor on a farm to support his girlfriend and six young children. Seven years after his big win, he hanged himself in his parents' garage. If you think this horror lottery curse is terrible, wait until you watch our top two stories. Number 10. Sharon Tirabassi Sharon Tirabassi won $10.5 million in a Lotto Super 7 jackpot in Canada during the year 2004. Excessive spending and giving her life an over-the-top makeover in the years after she won drained the money quickly. Assuming the money was bottomless, the vacations, cars, houses, and handouts piled up until there was nothing left. By 2013, she was riding the bus to the part-time job she worked to support her children, because all of her winnings were gone by then showing us that nothing lasts forever unless you take well care of it, especially money. Number 9. Kenneth Goff In 2010, a 58-year-old former banker named Kenneth Goff drank himself to death. He was alone and penniless just five years after winning the equivalent of nearly $11 million with a lucky British lottery ticket. Soon after winning, his once stable life devolved into a blur of exotic cars, racehorses, and luxuries like stadium box seats. After the dramatic transformation he went through after winning the lottery, his 25-year marriage came to an end, leading him into a path of devastating depression. Number 8. Alex Toth Alex Toth won $13 million in the Florida lottery in 1990. He lived well for a few years, then went broke by spending all of the money and not investing correctly. After he went broke, he split up with his wife. He got into trouble for filing false tax returns and spent some time in a mental institution. He died penniless at age 60 in 2008. Number 7. Michael Carroll Michael Carroll was a sanitation worker in England when, at age 19, he won £9.7 million in 2002. The money was equivalent to about $14.4 million at the time. A mansion, drugs, and gold jewelry ate up the money quickly. He found himself in prison a couple of times and the prize money was gone within 10 years. By 2012, Carol was broke and living off unemployment checks. After that, Carol took a job at a cookie factory in Scotland, making only $300 a week. More recently, he managed to get a job at a slaughterhouse, making £400, about $511 per week. Now he says he's grateful for his job and having a second chance at life. Carol says he's happy to be alive, sober, and out of jail so he can spend time with his young daughter. So far, we have looked at some shocking stories. But let me tell you that this video is about to get more intense, so make sure you sit down and watch until the very end. You will be shocked at how fast some people can burn through millions and millions of dollars. Number 6. William Post William Bud Post III won $16.2 million from the Pennsylvania Lottery in 1988. He thought his problems were solved, instead quickly found himself in debt. Even though Post didn't have a pilot's license, he decided to purchase a plane. He tried to help his siblings start a restaurant and a used car business. His former girlfriend, who was also his landlady, sued him for a third of his winnings. Post didn't pay her and, as a result, a judge froze his assets. The relationships with his family also went sideways. Word says one of his brothers tried to hire an assassin to kill him. Talk about family relationships gone wrong. One day, a repossessing man tried to take Post's car away. When he saw him, he opened fire. Later, he was put behind bars for this. In the end, he lived off social security disability payments until he died at age 66. Number 5. Janet Lee South Korean immigrant Janet Lee won $18 million in the Illinois lottery in 1993. Eight years later, when she filed for bankruptcy, she had less than $700 in the bank and was $2.5 million in debt. Her donations were well-intentioned, but she simply gave too much. 
she donated considerable sums to educational, political, and social causes. In exchange for a lump sum, she sold her rights to future annual payments. But even that wasn't enough to keep her out of bankruptcy court. Although her gambling habit reportedly cost her more than $300,000 per year, she may have spent on more charitable and political donations. Her generosity included $1 million for Washington University to build a new library. In 2001, all of her fortune went completely dry. Number 4. James Haynes James Haynes worked as an overnight security guard in 1998 when he won $19 million playing California's Super Lottery game. But he quickly went from winner to loser. His ex-wife reportedly took half the jackpot money and Haynes developed a heroin habit costing him $1,000 a week. He then resorted to robbing banks to keep up his lifestyle. The FBI nicknamed him the PT Cruiser Bandit and the Seasoned Bandit because of his car and gray hair. In 2018, Haynes pleaded guilty to bank robbery and was sentenced to 33 months in prison. Of course, by that time, there was not one dollar left of his earnings. Number 3. David Lee Edwards Five years after David Lee Edwards, a resident of Kentucky, won a jackpot, he was penniless and had to live in a storage shed with his wife. He married a woman 19 years younger than he was. The couple squandered the fortune on material things that brought the demise of so many winners. They bought dozens of high-end cars, a big mansion, and a plane. In the first three months, they had blown through $3 million. By the end of the first year, they had burned more than $12 million. The couple later spiraled into drug addiction, and just 12 years after hitting the jackpot that changed their life, their house was lost to foreclosure. David died in 2013 completely broke at age 58 in a hospice care facility. A few years later, his wife was arrested for stabbing a boyfriend. Number 2. Billy Bob Harrell Jr. Billy Bob Harrell Jr. is a well-known name for the lottery curse and spending millions of dollars in no time. He hit the Texas Lotto jackpot in 1997, but burned through his $31 million in just two years after winning. The profoundly religious family donated heavily to the church and individual congregation members, but his expenses and spending were not all donations. He and his wife bought a couple of houses and expensive cars for themselves and their family members. They paid for costly trips to Hawaii and lived the most luxurious lifestyle possible. With his excessive spending, money quickly dried up. Soon after the money was gone, Billy's marriage fell apart and their marriage ended in divorce. This was too much for Billy to handle. And just two years after winning more than $31 million, his son found him dead. He had taken his own life. And finally, let's go to the soundest name on lottery millionaires that lost it all. Number 1. Jack Whitaker. Andrew Jack Whitaker, unlike most of the winners, was already wealthy. His company was making contracts worth about $15 million a year. On Christmas morning in 2002, he won the largest jackpot ever awarded to a single Powerball ticket. He won a whopping amount of $314.9 million from his lottery ticket. But instead of an annuity, he chose a lump sum payment and ended up taking home a little over $113 million from his actual amount. However, Jack Whitaker's lottery winnings changed him more than the money he had earned through hard work. Though he did much good with the money he won, spending around $15 million to build churches in West Virginia. Jack also set up a charitable foundation and even bought the woman who sold him the ticket a new house, a new car, and gave her some extra cash. Despite his good deeds, the lottery curse hit him. His company was hit with frivolous lawsuits from people who wanted to get their hands on some of that jackpot money, costing him millions in legal fees. Under strain, Whitaker started to go on a downward spiral. He started drinking hard and getting into fights. If this wasn't enough, his granddaughter, Brandy, got involved with the wrong people and died at a young age a year after her boyfriend died from an overdose. The death had devastating consequences for his family. Andrew's daughter, Brandy's mother, was found dead seven years after the jackpot was won. His wife filed for a divorce, and soon, Andrew had lost his family and all the money he had won.